it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. So today we are putting together this beautiful little girl. I'm absolutely in love with this project. So if you watch the video from yesterday, um, I was frustrated with the flowers, um, with the SVG file in general because it was beautiful but it was just so many pieces and I just didn't really, wasn't feeling it. So instead I thought, I saw someone else do it, and it's someone that I follow on Instagram. So she goes by Marlene, I think. Um, but she did a Frida, like a small shadow box, and it was so cute with the flowers. And I told her, hey, I'm actually working on the same project. Do you mind if I also do rolled flowers? And then we can compare what it looks like. So she was totally up for the collaboration. Well, it's not really a collaboration. I, I've seen this image before, but just seeing her project made me realize, why don't I do the rolled flowers? Originally, I was thinking rolled flowers for the bottom part of the dress because I felt that it was kind of plain with this one, but I have a different idea for that. So we're gonna be working all over the place today. I wanna show you the rolled flowers. Um, I'm probably not gonna glue it together, but I'm gonna show you how to piece it together because the gluing and the taping part takes a long time and there's so many of my videos that go through that process and that's the easy part. It's just making sure that all the pieces are, you know, um, down on the black background. So I'm going to skip around a little bit. I really wanna show you the flowers. So let's talk about the flowers really quickly. This is completely down, okay. So if you look at this one, I love this flower because, I mean, it's 65 pound cardstock, but look at the rolls of the flowers. Like it is really curled, right? So I watched a lot of videos when I first started crafting. I thought I was gonna be a um, paper flower person, <laughs> but I'm not. But I learned a lot in that two years ago when I was kind of into it so i'm going to show you the tips and tricks to that but um there are a few flowers on here that i haven't done so like you can see this one in comparison to this one they are both the same flower and i believe even the same size but you can see this one's open and this one's very straight right i mean it's paper it feels stiff whereas this one has your flowers your petals are fold it over, it's got a lot of dimension to it. So I'm gonna do a few of those and show you how to do that. So let's pull this one aside. I'm gonna pull this one aside, this one, because we're gonna do one big one of those. And I don't believe I have any more of these, but this one is just a simple spiral ribbon. So, oh, you would have seen that. Well, you might not have seen that because <laughs> I changed my, my way on this one. Um, this is another one like this one, except just a bigger size. So with this whole thing, I don't know if you got to see beforehand, it was just three different types of flowers. Um, no, I take that back, four. The, the fourth one is this one. I hate this one, actually. I hate the way it looks. But as much as I hate it... <laughs> There's still a purpose, right? It's gonna be the small filler ones that go in between to cover up the space because they can't all be big, beautiful flowers. It won't fit. So, um, you yeah, know, everyone's got its purpose. <laughs> Even the, uh, the butt ugly flowers that I don't like. But anyway, <laughs> um, so I'm gonna show you how to roll, bend out that one and maybe one more, because this one's like super stiff. Look how straight up that edge is, right? It's super flat. I'm gonna show you how to bend it. So this one is the same as this one. So these, these four right here are the same, but you can see the different levels of opening up the petals. Totally makes a difference. And maybe I'll do one more if we really need an example. And we're gonna do this one. So I'm gonna move this to, to the side. And she's 30 inches. And I think what I'm going to do is, so I started talking to a lot of people. I, I see Frida everywhere. And so every time I see it now, I reach out to people and say, hey, what do you think about my project? Like, do you have any, um, any tips or anything that you want to tell me? And one of my favorite accounts, Jennifer, she reached out and um, 
said, you know, Frida was really into her jewelry. Like it was one of the ways that she expressed herself. So I want to do dangling earrings. That's going to be another video, but I want to do earrings that are hanging on a thread um, or a clear wire. And I want to make it two sides so that it can spin. And I want to do gems. So we're going to do that. I mean, it's just so many things. Okay, so with the flower, let's start off with this. So I don't know if you know this because I didn't know it until I did the research. Um, when you apply heat to cardstock, it turns out that it makes it more like um, moldable, mendable. I'm not even sure of the right word, but you can actually fold it without causing any creases in it. So the tool that you're going to need is actually... Um, it's the tool that you burnish with, and I don't know, is it called the burnisher then? But I'm gonna pull it out and you'll see what I'm talking about. Where is it? I had it. Give me a second, sorry. I thought I was ready. Um, huh, it must be out because I was using it. It looks like this, but it's not this tool. It's the other one, it's a small scrape, scraper tool. I think. Um, oh, ta da! <laughs> so it's this one. I like this one because it's small and I can hold it and I have more control over bending one flower. Now, the other thing that you may know about me is that I drink a lot of iced tea. <laughs> a lot. When I go through McDonald's, I order four iced teas for the day and then I keep filling it with water. <laughs> anyway, I use the trays for everything. One of the things that I'm using it for is to hold my heat tool. So you may recognize this as I use it to emboss things. So I use the embossing powder and then put the heat on it and then it turns from the powder into like this metallic, beautiful looking foil thing. So I'm using that tool. So I have it in here because I'm gonna need both hands. So this will hold my heat tool up. It's gonna be loud when I turn it on. So I want you kind of, I'm gonna do one and then I'm not really gonna talk through it. When I'm done, I'll, talk, I'll walk you through it. Okay, so I'm gonna turn it on right now. And I'm gonna turn it on low heat. I don't wanna burn my paper or burn my fingers. It gets really, really hot. So I'm gonna turn it on. Oh. It would help if it was plugged in. <laughs> Just some crazy high drinks tonight. Okay, turning it on now. Okay. So you see how this one is super, super straight, right? So I'm just gonna apply some heat to it. Then I'm gonna take this tool and I'm just gonna curl it. So I'm gonna put a little bit more heat because I'm feeling a lot of resistance. Um, and this thing does take a little bit to, to heat up, but when it gets hot, don't stick your finger in front of it. It's like hot. Okay, and I can actually feel it. So do you see how it's really curled now instead of so flat? So I'm gonna do a few more petals so you can see the difference. So you see how it's starting to curl out? So I will say the purple doesn't, um, it shows the creases, whereas I didn't have that problem with my with my red, my uh, pink, my two pinks, and my yellows. I didn't notice that, but this purple is kind of showing a little bit more wear and tear. So let me see if I can do a better one with this one. Okay, so maybe I just didn't have enough. So see, it's curling out, it's not straight up. This is the only edge that's straight up right now. Oh yeah, you know what, this is a lot better. I think my, my tool just wasn't heat, heated up enough. Because this one's curling without showing any creases. And do you see that little lip? It's like really, there. It's really, really curled, right? 
Okay, so now I'm gonna go into the next layer and curl this one a little bit because this one's super straight up. And it doesn't have to be a lot, but just to give it a little bit of a bend. Even this is fine. I would want to do this one, but I'm just, I don't know. I don't Maybe it's just my fingers today, but you see the difference now? It like opened up and the cool thing with flowers is that every flower is different. Like if you're trying to make it look natural, they don't all open the same way, right? So they're going to be a little bit imperfect. Um, but when you're kind of placing it all together, you're not gonna notice that. So it's okay to not open all of them. I'm gonna do this one, and then we'll go to make this big one, okay? So I'm gonna turn this back on. So you see how the petals are just turning out? So that's what you wanna do. You just wanna apply a little bit of heat, take this edge right here, and kinda of just curl that one at a time. So when you don't have the heat, like I didn't apply heat to this one, it's going against this that's helping it curl. It's just the heat helps the paper bend without, um, it helps hide your mistakes more. It's easier to, to bend it. Okay. So we've got this out of the way. I'm gonna move this heat tool. Now I'm gonna have my glue gun out because we're gonna do this one. So this flower is actually this. This is what it looks like. Oh, you know what, let me do a different color. This is what it looks like on Design Space. So whenever you have rolled flowers, you're gonna see this little shape. Um, just know that the middle, the center, is at the end. So you're gonna roll from the outside, roll all the way in, this bottom part is this right here. It's what you glue everything down and for it to sit, and then that's gonna help you glue to the next, wherever you put it. So this flower, what it comes with is, it comes with two sides of petals. So it comes with a small heart shape and a bigger heart. And they all have a slit down the middle. So what you wanna do is you wanna put a little bit of glue and you're gonna glue the two pieces are at the bottom of the slit you're gonna glue it to overlap each other a little bit. And what that causes the petal to do is it causes the petal to kind of sit up a little bit. So you can kind of see the shape. Let me see if I have one over here. I thought I had one made. So, oh, I do, right here. And then what's nice of when it's in this shape is with a single petal, you heat it up and then you curl it out. So you can see my petal's not, it's, uh, I'm trying to get a good angle. It's a little bent, so that way when it's onto the flower, it's already curled and you're just adding to it, okay? So let's get started. This quilling tool, I love it. It's from Amazon, it's on my Amazon shop. Um, it's amazon.com slash shop slash the useless crafter. Um, it's kind of cool just to have a quilling set, like a beginner set, they're not expensive. I wanna say it's like under $20. So, um, I don't know, I think just because I'm a, I'm calling myself a paper artist these days because I use paper, but um, it's just another medium and I, you know, I think it's really cool. Anyway, so there's a slit in the tool. You're going to put the paper in between the tool and I always roll towards me. So I have this, the card side up is the side that is... Um, that has texture. So if there is a top, like a forward facing, like the pretty side, you want the pretty side up and you're gonna roll it towards you, okay? So I start to roll it and then I keep my thumb right here. So as it's rolling, I'm keeping pressure on it because it's, it's um, the paper is getting bent right now, right? It's not meant to be rolled like this. So if you keep your finger there, it just helps like um, 
just keep the pressure so that it doesn't get out of control. And then I'm just rolling it towards me. It feels really uncomfortable because the paper is hard, it, you know. It's... And then once you get here, I unroll it a little bit and then I just make sure that it, it looks like this, okay? So now I'm gonna flip it over, pop open this top, and I'm gonna put glue on the actual circle just to help it hold its um, shape and place. And then I'm gonna put glue on the circle and then turn it over and just let it set. Now with this one, this is the middle, it's gonna stand up like this. It's, it's not gonna totally open up because you have all those other petals to do that. But a few of these I will roll out just so that it, it's natural, like um, it's just preparing to get to the next step. So it's gonna have a little curl and then it's gonna curl out more and more and more. So, okay, this is gonna let it sit there. Let's do all of these. So again, you're gonna, there's a little slit. You're gonna put a little bit of glue down and then you're gonna put the paper over and then just hold it for a couple seconds while it's drying in place. And I didn't hold it long enough. And the last time when I did this rose, I had extra petals left over. I just didn't wanna add I didn't know how big it was gonna be in the first place, but I felt like this was a good size and it was kind of even, although I guess I could add one more right here. It looks a little uneven, but again, with so many flowers that we're gonna be packing in, it's gonna be okay that it's not perfect. All right, I'm gonna do the next one. And oh, that was hot. <laughs> I'm gonna do the small flowers first. I should have done that first because we're gonna add the smaller ones first and then the larger ones go behind it. All right, so after this one, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna curl the petals so that you can see what that looks like on this one. And we're just gonna add these two petals. I'm not gonna spend a lot, a lot of time on it. Okay, I'm gonna flip this over. I'm gonna turn on my heat tool again. Don't do that. <laughs> Yeah, so the, this one's like heated up, so you can see nothing happened to that purple, where I struggled with this purple a little bit with the creases, but look at, look at that curl, and no creases. All right, so let's do this one. So pretty. And then one more. Okay, so, oh, let's do these. I'm gonna do two of these and then we'll be done. So I prop this up and then I'm gonna put a little bit of glue down and I'm just gonna start building my flower. So I'm gonna put this one here. 
I probably did not do enough to show you an example, but I think you'll get it. So I'm gonna put a little bit of glue here. I'm gonna put this guy down. And it dries quickly. But, so once you have your four petals, right? So now I added this one. So there's four. So this one, I'm gonna start building in between. So I'm gonna add it out here in between these two. And then I would just keep doing that and adding and adding. So you can see that here. This was my original, right? And then I added this one. Then I added across, directly across. And then I can add this one and then go here. So you're constantly building it in a, um, in a circle just to make sure that it's even. So, okay, so these four are in, I'm gonna add this one. Now, when you run out of space on where to put the glue, put the glue on top and this one will go below. And it's okay that it's back here because it's gonna build out. So don't worry about that. All right, so I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on here. Because we have a lot of petals to build out, so I don't, I wouldn't worry about that. Just get it in there and then start building your flowers. And then this one's gonna be bigger so you can kind of see it's gonna build out to here. All right, so that's it with the flowers. Let's get to our piece. Um, did I have another flower to roll? No, I think that's it, okay. Um, I also wanted to add a butterfly or two to the piece. I know, I'm, and I'm gonna submit this this originally came in as a special request from one of the followers, Wendy. Um, so I'm sorry I didn't get to this in time, but it's such a great project. I absolutely love it. And I wanna add more paper to this paper project and just a different medium, right? Like this one's gonna be the gold glitter um, with a couple different colors. And then the way to prop these wings open is you put a little bit of your glue gun you're gonna put a little dot in there and it dries hard so it will keep your wings propped open. I absolutely love these butterflies. So I'm gonna have something like this in her hair, maybe, we'll see. Okay, <laughs> let's get, so this is the black background. I'm gonna be turning off things. And she is, I mean, she's just so stinking cute, but she's also pretty easy, minus the fact that the flowers in her hair is very detailed. But if you can see here, she's really in six pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six. So hair, face, bottom, that's it. This big piece is her face, because look at her face. Her face is gonna be right here. So her two eyes are here and her mouth is here. So if you can imagine that, there's gonna be seams through this eye, this eye, maybe in the nose you can see it, the mouth. Um, but if you make a duplicate of the face and then you select that image, turn it black so that you have it matching the black background, and if you contour it and hide all, you get just a blank face. So this blank face is gonna sit over the seams. So now where there's openings with the eyes and the mouth, you're not gonna get that seam because you're gonna have this layer in between and it's gonna look seamless. So everything else, like look at where the seams are, okay? Right here, you're gonna have seams, so let me face her this way. So this is the top of her head, right? Well, we're not gonna see this seam at all because it's gonna be covered with the beautiful rolled flowers as well as right here. And then down here is, we have her dress. I'm trying to think what else is here. Her neck is here and then her dress. So we're gonna, and the seams won't be so obvious because they're gonna be right up next to each other. We're gonna have it covered. And then we have her dress down here. So she's going to look hopefully seamless. So that's all she is. So let's talk about how we're gonna do this. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk you through everything, give you an overview. So what you wanna do with this is you don't wanna tape on the top side, right? Because there are gonna be places where we don't have anything sitting on top of it. And it's gonna be around the edges. Because if you think about it, 
I'm going to do just a few pieces. Like, this is the bottom of her skirt, right? Her dress. It's going to go, like, right here. So, it's going to cover the seams here. The paintbrush is going to cover this. So, right here, you're going to have a little bit of a seam, but I think we're going to cover it up. Um, oh, and we also have her little legs. So, her legs go down here. So, this is going to be showing. So, I'm going to try to cover that with decorative tissue paper. Again, that's going to be at the end. <laughs> um, so, you're going to have a little bit of the seams there. And I think and just a little bit around the edges, maybe. Um, so what you wanna do is you wanna flip this over and tape the six pieces together from the back because you don't wanna see any of that scotch tape because once we put this on here, you're gonna then tape down once you put everything on and know where everything is and it fits perfectly because you see there's her paintbrush. Let's get her arms in so you can kind of see. So a lot of these seams are going to be covered up. There was a seam right here, right? But that's there. And then here's her little dress. Like that. So that's going to cover up. Let's see. Right. So the seams are getting covered. And it's with beautiful paper and with her stinking cute face and the rolled flowers. You're not going to notice the seams. Afterwards, after you place everything down, then you're going to tape it down. Um, and then, I know I'm kind of skipping through it, but I feel like there's so much to this process. Um, the next thing that you would do is you would trace the outline of the border because you're going to use your knife and hand cut the foam board so that you can place, you can glue everything on so that it's just like cat in the hat, it can stand propped up against something. So that is all that there is. And I'm wondering, sorry, this is the first time where I'm kind of just giving an overview. Um, if you go to Instagram, you'll see the, the process and the pictures. And I'm gonna try it out this time because I feel like I have so many videos with the step-by-step -step for all these things. And I know this, I had the flowers in here and all of that. So, all right, I will see you next time. Let me know what you think. And you can always check out the pictures on Instagram. I'm the useless crafter, all one word. So it's instagram.com slash the useless crafter. And you can see all the pictures. Alrighty, I will see you guys next time. Bye.